my your head starts to swell up okay so I'm gonna put some images of my recovery throughout me talking over the next minute now uh, I had probably the easiest recovery uh, known to mankind me the doctor and the clinic were surprised at how well my body was healing now the first thing that happens is obviously the donor area in the back of your head scabs and then just like a superficial cut on your hand that scab then sorts of fall off um, it is itchy that's the only thing I will say is that um, I was tapping the back of my head a lot um, your head does leak for the first night um, so I just slept with a bandage over my pillow uh, or a pad rather then the hair itself falls out so you get these tiny little hairs that start to grow through you sort of you get hopeful when you look in the mirror I'm obviously fully aware that they fall out prior uh, to growing the hair then falls out and the hair follicles stay in and then it takes probably it is a couple of months before the hair starts to grow so the rest of my hair started to grow and then I had these tiny little hairs sprouting through but it's been since December I had my hair transplant and I have a full head of hair.